What's up, Marlon? Hi. How are you? Good. And you? And yourself? I'm doing good. So, what have you heard of these? Um, they call it, uh, I think, night, Monday Night Project. Although it's Tuesday today, I think. Yeah. What have you heard of it? How about it? Um, I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about it. Uh, they pretty much there's like a lot of people who like hang around here, make sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly for the homeless people at Skid Row. So pretty much uh, they're not doing it for them; they're doing it for them, for like like you know, like because they don't have like no money or anything. So pretty much they give them food for them to eat, and like pretty much they'd be happy, you know, after we get right. they give them the peanut butter and jelly. Have you done it before? Um, to tell you the truth, I haven't done it, but I see people doing it though, and like it, it inspires me, you know, how people really do care about people from the streets, you know. Right. Like there's uh, there's a lot of people that be passing by them, they ignore them, you know. And then like the good thing, these people over here giving up peanut butter and jelly, and like they think about them, like you know, it's awesome, you know. Like, okay. like it, it inspires me. A lot of stuff. Would you do it? Um, I would do it, you know. I would love to help the homeless people, you know. But not today. Not today, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marlon. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Building. Then what? What's it called? Um, the guy loses his home. And then two months without paying rent, they have to be evicted. Not to, they have to live in the car. But they can't be living in the car because if they see the, the police see the kids in the car they'll like take him away so the mom takes the kids and, and to like find a shelter and he's on his own um then he has no gas so right. he leaves his car right there gets tickets a lot of tickets and then he eventually gets taken away to so jail now, okay huh? right to jail no no Usually. no the car gets towed. oh the, ca the car because the, he couldn't pay the tickets and it's just stayed there because there's no gas because he has no, no right. job no, or nothing yeah he couldn't move it and so yeah there's like nothing now he has nothing. He's stressed. He's depressed. And because you know how most people, when they have the depressed and they're stressed, they can buy medication. Well, this person could just get whatever drug they can get, like either weed, crack, whatever it can be. And right. then you just get addicted, and it's just a hard life. And so that's what our professor was telling us. That, you know, hopefully, you get, us can, we can like be like sure we could be business majors, but also like help out organizations that help out people that are like in skid row or like need a lot of help because that's what you used, used to do he used to be in wall street and like making a lot of money he had a nice living but then he's like you know what is this making me happy and so then he volunteered at skid row and i forgot the organization's name i think it starts with a ch something like that but okay. what they do is uh they have this program where they get uh, these people who are like low skill, don't have like a lot of work experience mm. to help clean the streets and like get them paid a minimum wage. And it's like a month, like a nine month program. And after right. that, they have to find a, a job on their own. So yeah, that's what I was just telling him. Like when we were talking about the street, like it's dirty. Like don't they usually have people that help clean it? Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, so I just thought of that when I was, when I was hearing uh, Brian speak. And some other people. Yeah, you do? Cool. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. Cool story, bro. Took yeah. some position into the group to protect the table and, <laughs> and us. Right. And Probably and it's how they feel. And, and Robert. Likes being in the group. Yeah, of, of course he liked that. But you know what? Robert, same thing. He went ahead with his cane. And of course, mm -hmm. you think like, what can he do? He's handicapped, and he will. No, he well, won't be able. Uh, I don't think that it. It will eat somebody with his can. He it will could do be his with best. Somebody with a wheelchair, and you don't even know what's in the wheelchair. <laughs> like, uh, like he's not there to. We are not there to do bodies or to. Um, like to uh, to to choose uh, to pick a side between them. It's just like to uh, keep us safe, just to be able to go back the day after. Uh, like I'm sorry, what was your name again? Marlene. Marlene? How do you spell it? M-A-R-L-E-N-E. -E. Marlene. 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 Yeah. What's that? And this is Brian. Is, is that is that name French? Yes. Really? Marlene? I, mean, I don't know if it's just French or... Because uh, Marlene Dietrich? Marlene, yeah. Because like... That actress, that... Uh, um, German actress 
And isn't Amy in America too, Molly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, not because, just French. I don't know. Because uh, I have a, my sister has a friend that's her name is spelled the same way as yours, and so that would be interesting to, to tell them, like, oh, your name okay, is French. Okay, so we're at the end of our what is it? Midnight. Monday night mission. Monday night mission. Mission. On Tuesday night. Tuesday, Tuesday night. This is a Tuesday chick. I'm Sue. Her name is Sue. Hi, Victor. <laughs> so it's my first time, and it was kind of scary mm -hmm. for a moment. But um, it's a different world. It is a different world. Yeah. And so, how long have you been doing this? A little over three years, just once a week. I'm only a Tuesday nighter, but Tuesday night. I'm here pretty, pretty regularly. Okay. I'll be back and next it was, Tuesday. It's very nice to meet you tonight, Victor. Yeah. Hope you Likewise, hope to see too. you again. All right, Brian. Okay. Good luck on your on your exam. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Get an A plus. And Nelson. And this is Tilo. Tilo. No, that's from like, Germany. From Germany. That's right. From and Berlin. Thank you so much for helping us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. These are the real, <laughs> the real uh, angels of LA. <laughs> Not really. He, he is too. Just like nah, all of nah. us. Yeah, well, Everybody yeah. Everybody counts. All right. I'll take thank your word you. for it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. It's, um, it's a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call. Um, um, yeah. Uh, I thought it was um, going to be easier. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was going to be easier. Um, just to be... Not sure who who your enemies are, who your friends are. Um, there was a disturbance at the at the Monday mission. Well, it's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and we were, it was a barricade, so we're supposed to cover <clears throat> the women. And um, we suddenly became a unit. Um, now I understand um, I understand why um, we'll never find peace if we keep um, dividing ourselves and if we start labeling people who's right, who's wrong, who's supposed to be in the circle and who's supposed to be push away from the circle I'm home the home is really where their heart is and some people have found home in the street of Los Angeles and um, <sighs> dignity, I think, is the last thing they um, they will ever lose. People like tonight. I met um, Brian. Brian, he was cool. <laughs> A little bit scary, but um, at first, I didn't know if he was talking to me to distract me, or I was a little leery, and I didn't know whether 
to look at him in the eyes or or look around him. Um, and next to me, there's little Brian, my the brother I never had next to me, um, who moments earlier had told me he was afraid. And I told him that everything will be all right. But there was a moment that things were not okay. Things, wasn't, things were out of control. And suddenly it was not safe. And there I was telling him it would be okay. Um, things um, took an early turn for a minute. I mean, I won't forget <clears throat> Brian, Robert, Pink Panther, Mastermind, mm, I forgot the rest, mostly male, male. oh, and Dorothy. I saw Dorothy and she was crying. She had pain in her on her face and or his face. Um, she started to cry and I don't know if she came back for for some peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but um, at least she's. She was able to talk to us. I think that was what she wanted to do is just talk. Beautiful.